Series. I am Adil Mansuri from Civil Engineering Department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So my dear students, let us now start with the next portion of this subject and the name of the topic for today's video is house drainage. Okay, so let us start with the introduction of house drainage. So as we all know that there are several components of building. Okay. So one of the component is known as substructure which includes foundation and other structure is known as superstructure which includes columns, beams, walls and slabs. Right Now apart from this there are several building services which we require in order to cater to our daily needs. Okay, For example there is a furniture, flooring, painting, electrification and so on. But apart from these services, the most important service is house drainage. Okay, because we utilize water for our needs, and after the water is utilized, right? After the water is utilized, the wastewater is generated. So the disposal of wastewater as early as possible also needs to be catered to. Okay, so the most important service is house drainage. Okay, students. So let us now move ahead. So now you might have a question what is the meaning of house drainage right so the water closets bathrooms sinks wash basins etc are some of the important components of the house okay and the occupants of the house make use of these components and as a result there is generation of wastewater Right now the wastewater from water closets, bathrooms, sinks and wash basins is to be properly disposed right into municipal sewer. Okay, it is therefore necessary to construct a system of conveyance of wastewater from these places that is water closets, bathrooms, kitchens right and dispose to the municipal sewer. So this system, this system is known as house drainage system. Okay, so now you might have understood that what is house drainage. Okay, students. So let us now move ahead with the next topic that is terminology. Okay, so there are several definitions or terms which you need to understand. Okay, so let us start with sewage, sullage, plumbing system, sewer, soil pipe, waste pipe, sewerage system, manhole traps okay so these are certain words that you need to understand so what do you mean by sewage so the wastewater coming from water closets and containing human excreta is known as sewage okay then sullage so the water coming from bathrooms and kitchens which does not contain any fecal matter is known as sullage okay then talking about plumbing system so it is entire system of pipeline for providing water supply to the building or it is a system of pipes for disposal of wastewater from the building. Okay, then sewer. So a pipe carrying wastewater, right, is known as sewer. Clear? Then talking about soil pipe. So it is a pipe which carries wastewater from water closets. Okay. Then waste pipe. So it is a pipe which carries sullage from bathrooms, kitchen, sink and wash basin. Okay. Then there is a sewerage system. So a system of sewers of different types and sizes in a town which collects wastewater from the town and which carries to the wastewater treatment plant is known as a sewerage system. Okay. Then there is a manhole. So manhole are RCC or masonry chambers constructed at suitable intervals along the sewer lines, right? That we have already studied in sewer appurtenances. Okay, students. So next is traps. 
so traps are defined as the fittings at the end of soil pipes or waste pipes to end to avoid the entry of foul gases coming from the soil pipe or the waste pipe okay so let us now move ahead what are the principles of house drainage so house drainage should be preferably laid by side of the building to facilitate easy repair and better maintenance okay how sewer joints should be leak proof because leakage if any shall create an odor problem and leaked waste water shall infiltrate in the grounds and shall reduce bearing capacity of soil below the foundation which is not at all desirable okay then sewage or sludge should flow under the force of gravity okay and the house sewer should always be straight right now the entire system should be well ventilated okay from start to the end right and the house sewer should be connected to the manhole such that the inward level is sufficiently higher to avoid the backflow of the sewage in house sewer okay now wherever there is a change in direction of sewer line in the premises then it is needed to provide inspection chambers at the junction okay then talking about rain water then rain waters from roofs or open courtyards should not be allowed to flow through the house sewer right there should be a different collection system for the rain water then siphonage actions can never be permitted and therefore adequate ventilation systems should be installed okay so these are the different principles of house drainage let me show you some pictures so as you can see this is the wall of the house on the left hand side right and white colored pipelines you can see right so we, as the first principle said that the pipelines should be provided beside the house rather than providing under the house for easy maintenance okay then this is the picture for inspection chambers or the pipelines of the sewer lines should be straight right and if there is any connection or if there is a, any change in the direction then you can see the inspection chambers are provided at different intervals okay then the public sewer should be at a lower elevation and the house drain should be at a higher elevation right so that it can flow under the effect of gravity and we can avoid the backflow okay then you can see in a well prepared drainage system or in well developed drainage system what we can see is one lavatory block that is one bathroom or toilet is above the other okay so this is one of the important uh, principle for house drainage then water tight should be the connections okay you can see the leakage so this will cause loss of water as well as waste water okay then sufficient slope should be given so that water flows under the effect of gravity right that is waste water flows under the effect of gravity and sufficient size of the pipeline should be provided so that you can allow the flow of waste water properly okay then for collection of waste water or sorry for collection of rain water you can provide gutter system like this okay so these were the different principles of house drainage let us now move ahead with the components of house drainage system so basically the components of house drainage system include traps pipes and sanitary fittings traps are based on shape and based on usage so based on shape there are p trap q trap and s trap let me show you the pictures of each of this so you can see this is a p trap right then this is a q trap 
okay and this is a s trap understood now based on the usage there is a trap called flow trap or nahani trap okay so this trap is generally used to admit sludge from floors of the rooms or bathrooms or kitchens right to the sludge pipe this is provided with cast iron or stainless steel or galvanized iron gratings okay at its top okay so let me show you the picture okay so gratings are provided at its top so that the entry of large matter is prevented thereby preventing the chances of blockage okay a commonly used name of trap is nani trap okay so you can see the picture let us move ahead with the gully trap okay so a gully trap is provided at a junction of roof drain and other drain coming from kitchen or bathroom okay so let me show you the picture right now so as shown in the figure the foul sludge shall enter through the side inlet which is called as back inlet and unfoul rain water shall enter from the top okay which is covered with the cast iron grating okay you can see on the left picture clear now gully traps may either have a p shaped or q shaped water sealing arrangement and the water seals is normally 50 mm to 75 mm deep okay so water seal in the second picture you can see that water is filled up to certain level right so this level is known as the water seal and this avoids the entry of foul gases clear next is the intercepting trap okay so intercepting trap is provided at junctions of a house sewer and municipal sewer for preventing entry of foul gases of municipal sewer into the house drainage system now intercepting trap is provided in the manhole as shown in the figure so you can see this picture okay now let me talk about the advantages of the intercepting trap so foul gases of larger municipal sewers are prevented from entering the house drainage system number 1 then harmful pathogens are not entered in the house drain number 2 then well designed and constructed interceptors can quickly remove foul matter of house drain to municipal sewer okay now heavy matter shall retain in the trap if the discharge of waste water is small and the small decomposed producing foul gases and thus the main purpose of preventing foul gases is not served okay so we should have certain velocity which is adequate to remove all the foul matter from the trap okay now when the plug is broken the foul gases shall enter the house sewer and cleaning through the inspection area is difficult now interceptors itself is an obstruction to the smooth flow and omission of interceptors have not raised serious consequences presence of interceptors installed by the owner is found to affect ventilation of municipal sewer hence if interceptors are allowed more ventilation systems are to be provided for public or municipal sewers with increasing cost of the sewerage system and thereby an increasing taxes too correct now because of these reasons the municipalities have decided to whether to allow the owners to provide it provide with intercepting traps or no okay or no clear so let's talk about next topic that is grease trap so you can see the pictures of the grease trap so these traps are usually used in large hotels or restaurants okay 
or industries where large quantity of oil waste is generated okay if the oil or greasy metals is not separated it will stick to the building drainage system resulting in the formation of layer of scum on the top okay and consequent hindrance in aeration process right now a grease trap is either a masonry or cast iron chamber with a bent pipe or t pipe at the outlet you can see in the picture okay now there is sudden increase in area of flow at the inlet and hence the velocity of flow is reduced which results in separation of oil and greases from the waste water the oil and greases floats on the surface and should be removed periodically okay now a separate outlet pipe for oil and grease trap can be installed with a valve to stop the flow after complete removal of oil and grease from the top surfaces okay so this was all about greases and traps grease traps okay let me talk about pipes okay so in house drainage system pipes may be designated depending upon the functions right so there are some soil pipes there are waste pipes there are vent pipes okay so what do you mean by soil pipe so a soil pipe is a pipe carrying human excreta then waste pipe is a pipe carrying sludge and vent pipe is installed to provide flow of air to and from the drainage system to the provide or to provide circulation of air in the drainage system clear and thus to protect the water seal of the traps against the siphonage action and backflow then there is an anti siphonage pipe it is the pipe which is installed to preserve the water seal in the trap through proper ventilation and lastly there is a rain water pipe right so for carrying rain water to the sewerage system or the storm water line so let me show you some of the preferable diameters so soil pipe can be of 100 mm waste pipe if it is horizontal then you can provide 30 to 50 mm diameter and if it is vertical you can provide 75 mm diameter rain water pipe is usually used then the uh, the diameter is 75 mm vent pipe 50 mm and anti siphonage pipe is 40 to 50 mm okay